Why did this Yamaha YSR sell on eBay for $130,000? Let me fill you in. A few months ago, I bought the world's smallest street legal motorcycle, and it was awesome until I blew up the motor. Then my mechanic Craig replaced it with a YZ80 engine, and we took it to the track and I wrecked it. Then I lost a bet to myself and was forced to sell it on eBay, where some stranger would buy my precious baby. And the catch was, the auction would be a $1 starting bid with no reserve. So within an hour of the video being released, the auction had hit $4,200, and I was really happy about that. Even though I'm losing money, that's almost what I paid for the bike. And then within another hour, it hit $18,000, which blew my mind away. But it was kind of getting out of hand. By lunch, it hit $50,000. And to put this in the context, the average house sold in Detroit is $35,000. By the next morning, a few insane bidders thought it'd be a worthwhile investment to spend $130,000 on this motorcycle. That has no title. Now, I'm not going to say I'm above that because I've had moments myself where I let the, uh, the excitement of an auction kind of rope me in, which is why I bought this thing. So at this point, I don't actually believe that it sold for $130,000, but just like the X-Files, I, I want to believe. And I found out there's a list of all the bids that eBay filtered out because it was fraudulent or because it was bogus or for, for whatever reason, tons of bids that they took away. So being the skeptic that I am, I did the only logical thing to do. Or it, it may not have happened exactly like that, but it was pretty similar. So I guess instead of asking how it happened, I should be asking, did it happen? And to be honest with you, I don't know yet. But what I'm thinking is a very rich Japanese mogul sees the listing and says to his personal assistant, that is the bike from my youth. It will bring my family much honor. Get it for me, no matter the cost. And over here in America, another rich guy says, I've been looking for a slightly damaged, very abused, non-original YSR80 for years. I must have that bike. And there's a little known eBay trick that allows you to get the highest bidder's phone number, which I got. So let's give him a call and see uh, what the story is. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. Hey, this is uh, this is Sean, the seller of the 1988 Yamaha YSR. Oh, uh, I don't think I inquired about one. But I didn't believe him, and it's because of what he said next. You you bought one for a hundred thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't even have a hundred thirty thousand dollars. Do you have a house you can sell? Uh, I can. Possibly put it up. <laughs> I think I'm only gonna get like eight grand out of it as we, we just bought one. That is not the reaction of a person whose eBay account just purchased a motorcycle for the price of a house. The proper reaction to this alarming news would have been... <coughs> this guy is acting way too cavalier for the situation. And what happens next gets even more suspicious. Do you watch YouTube? I watch YouTube. Yes, I do. You ever watch the Bikes and Beards channel? Bikes and Beards. Not that I know of. Yeah. I'm more of a side-by-side -side kind of guy. Yeah. He said he doesn't know about my channel, but seems to know enough about it to know that he's a side-by-side -side guy and not a motorcycle guy. That's like asking someone if they like cupcakes, and he says, I don't know what cupcakes are, but... I'm more of a brownie type of fella. He knows too much. And often the people that hear me mention my channel without knowing it for the first time think I'm saying bikes and beers. And bikes could be referring to pedal bikes. But then he gives us the most damning proof of all. So what's going on? Yeah, so I was selling a uh, 1988 Yamaha YSR. It's a little tiny Yamaha. 1988 YSR, okay. and you like a little 80cc? Yes. The truth is, these bikes basically don't exist. Only a few people actually know about them. And the ones that know, only know about the YSR 50. The YSR 80s are only imported from Japan and are so rare that one just sold on eBay for $130,000 just a week ago. And I didn't mention that it was an 80cc. What are the chances that he would have been able to guess that? But what I was still wondering was, why would someone do a fake bid, like what's their angle? What's the scam? So I decided to call eBay, and eBay's a huge company. I mean, they're, they're a giant company. They're traded on the New York Stock Exchange. They've got buildings with their names on it and signs with their names on it. 
So I'll call them and get some clarity on this supposed scam. Well, I sold an item on eBay. It, it sold for more than what it was supposed to and I can't get a hold of the buyers. It sold for $130,000 and to be honest with you, I don't think it's worth more than $80,000. So eBay was very polite, but they were not very helpful. They informed me that they, they do have systems set up so that they can like bump out fraudulent bids and, and bogus and bogus situations. But in reality, this thing happens all the time. And the only thing I can really do about it is just cancel the bids or just cancel the whole auction and try again. So after a long conversation with eBay, it was pretty clear to me that they were part of the heist. Let me show you what I mean. I've been working on this for days. I'm pretty sure that someone or something is trying to shice me out of my YSR80. Not sure how they're gonna do it, not sure when, but I'm getting pretty close to who. So I did the only logical thing that a beaten and broken man would do. No, 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 no. I, I mean, not Craig. I know, I know you mean that's funny, um, but me because I, I, I just mentally lost hundred thirty thousand dollars. So I'm gonna do the only logical thing that there is to do. I'm gonna do my own auction right here at the SRK Cycle Shop. Uh, we're gonna start the bid at a dollar. We're gonna have no reserve. I don't care if two people show up or a thousand people show up. This bike will sell today. And if someone tries to bid it up to 130,000 bucks, I'm gonna punch them in their face because that's, that's crazy. We've never done an auction before. We have no idea how it's gonna go. I don't even know where anyone's gonna park. This should be a lot of fun. So I posted a story on my YouTube channel letting people know. And by the way, this is a great time to subscribe and do notifications so you can get notified about these things. And I made a Facebook post informing people about the auction. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but I can't wait to find out. Well, there's like 20 minutes left, but there's nobody here. The auctioneer's not even here. And then finally, at the last moment, people started rolling in. Hey guys, thank you for coming. We are going to be auctioning off this bike. It will sell today. I don't care what it sells for. And then those three little bikes we're going to go off uh, auction off first. We have a real live auctioneer here. Let's all give him a round of applause for coming out here. <laughs> Let's all have fun. Uh, first one we're going to sell is that little tiny blue one. We're going to start the bid at $1. One dollar, one dollar, pretty good one, one dollar, pretty good one, one dollar, pretty good one, two, 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 three, 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 four, five, five, ten, ten, forty, forty, now, so fifty dollars. All right. <laughs> the black now that one we bought on uh, eBay or somewhere. Uh, we paid like 1500 bucks for it. I think we got ripped off. I think it's worth 300 bucks at the most. And we, uh, we wrecked it on the track. Uh, it is famous and uh, it's super cool. It's got like three miles on it. All we're being wrecked, but it runs good. One dollar, one dollar, pretty good. One, 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 five, five dollar, pretty good. Five, fifty five, fifty five, seventy, 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 seventy,
result, the YSR sold. And just as fast as it came into my life, well, it did not leave as fast as it came in because it still needed a little bit of tuning. And it looks like I didn't get scammed or uh, shite out of the bike. It sold to a really nice guy at the auction and... Uh... Oh, hold on a second. Hey, Caleb, do you have the... Uh... Do you have the, a copy of the driver's license, the guy that bought the YSR? Jason. Jason eBay. Looks like we got shisted. Don't forget to subscribe and watch this other video right here. See you guys next time.